Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Well, now that I have your attention, maybe I can spend some time and teach you how to make one of these basket weave roofs that I use on most of my buildings. I get asked all the time, hey ghost, how did you make that roof? Hey ghost, can, can you make a video of that roof that you built? So I guess here it is, the how-to video of how to make a basket weave roof. Okay, so I'm hoping you already have a roof ready to build this on. How I build my roof structures is I like to put cross members in between the beams. If I'm using 45 degree beams, I will use these cross members and the reason for that is to stop me from falling off the roof. So with 45 degree roofs, you can actually slide off of them. These beams prevent that. 26s you can stand on, but it's always advisable to use these beams. You're also going to need to build a cantilever point similar to something like this. They can all be different. This one just happens to be very simple. But the most important part of this build is building this ridge beam. Start by placing a beam at the very tip and working your way along the top of the roof. After you've created the ridge beam, you're going to need to start the first pattern of the basket weave. For this, I'm using 26 degree beams placed at an angle that isn't too steep that they're going to enter the roof. I'm placing them on every other intersection along the ridge beam, and then I'm rotating them in the opposite direction and placing them at the intersection point of the first 26 degree beam. On the next course of beams, I used 26 degree beams snapped to the end of the previous ones without a rotation. I continue along the pattern and then rotate back in the opposite direction as needed. I follow this pattern until it's time to work on the front of the roof. It shouldn't need to be mentioned, but you're going to need to continue this pattern on the other side of the roof as well. After we've created the basket weave pattern, we're going to start working on the cantilever point. Using the same beams that you used to create the point, you're going to start somewhere in the middle face mounting a beam. From there you're going to bring it up, snap it, and then face mount another beam on top of it to create this stepped pattern. From there, you're going to start mounting beams to the end of them following the curve of the beam. The idea is to create a swooping beam that comes down to meet the eaves of the roof. There is no set guideline for this as everybody's cantilever point might be slightly different. The great thing about this roof is it is adaptable to any type of roof. You can even put this on a 26 degree roof. The only thing you need to remember is that you need to have any type of cantilever point and you need to start off the ridge beam that you created in step one. You can make this as simple or as complicated as you want, but it is very, very easy to do as long as you start your pattern off the ridge beam. 
And that's it. That's how you create a basket weave roof on any of your roofs that you have on your buildings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to post. I reply to basically everybody that makes a post. Uh, if you want any more videos on anything that you might see on my Reddit profile, don't hesitate to ask. You can send me a DM. Uh, I'm definitely always looking for something to do. Thanks again for watching, and this was another Build by Ghost.